lovely people. I just thought I'd do a quick voiceover at the beginning of this vlog because I haven't filmed that much this week or I didn't film up until around Wednesday. Things were going really well this week, you know, we had products arrive, like restocks. I was able to get my photography, editing and listings done quite early in the week. Things took a little bit of a, a turn. Uh, technology wise and I feel a little bit deflated. Things did get better though um, but yeah I'll explain more as the video goes on. Just thought I'd do a little voiceover at the beginning, say hello um, and yeah I hope you enjoy the video. Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new, thank you so so much for being here. I'm starting the vlog pretty late this week because I have been head deep in photography and what, what do I do after that? Editing <laughs> and listing. My brain is a little bit like mush currently. If you do Etsy listings you'll probably understand that they are weirdly time consuming and become really boring after a while um thankfully i haven't had too many to do the last launch i did i had 54 etsy listings to do which is absolutely ridiculous i do not recommend doing that but this time we have is it 12 i think it's 12 um 12 12 listings at the moment i am going to be kind of updating some listings i'm going to be reprinting some older designs on newer paper and probably re-photographing those as well depending on i mean some of the listings might not need re-photographing re it depends on if they print similar or not if they don't then i'll retake them or like outdated photos i'll retake those um because my setup is all ready to go so i thought why not take this time to update them i have done those 12 listings so Anything extra I get done is kind of just a bonus. I'm not stressing about it too much, but I have a full box of washi cutters. My husband helped me build these. So they have the phone charms attached and then they have a lobster clasp on the end so you can attach it. It's like a pencil case and things. I've just realized for those of you that might be new, hello, I'm Adele, I run Dilly's Designs. I am having a shop update on Friday. That's what we're working towards this week. I. Just haven't had that much to show you up until now. It's all been very repetitive, just lots of typing, lots of photographing. I think I maybe did a quick overlay of like me doing some photography bits, but nothing crazy. So yeah, that's what we're working on at the moment. Just getting ready for that. I am a little bit nervous for this one because I'm not sure what it is exactly. I don't know if it's because I've got like new product and like product I've never done before. Um, but there's also like a weirdness around it because I've got washi tape that is brand new. But the day the washi tape arrived, I was actually doing a market. So I really quickly got that listed and I have sold a good handful of washi tapes already. So people, some or some people already have them. So it feels a bit weird because I've launched them temporarily and then I'm like properly launching them. Like I've taken photos and everything. Photos have come out really nicely. Let me show you on the screen. I don't know how well you can see them, but they've come out quite nice. Um, oh, that's a washi cutter. Anyway, I'll show you the photo for the washi cutter. Um, they've come out quite nice. And we've also got the washi tape as well. I'm really happy with these photos. I feel like they've come out really nicely. I'm just feeling a little bit kind of odd about this launch. I don't know. But now that I've kind of got my photos and like the big chunk of work done. I'm feeling a bit more excited about it. I did have a little bit of an issue with my washi tape photos initially. I have kept the ones that I wasn't as happy with on there. Essentially, because I've never photographed washi before, I just took photos of the washi tape and I didn't think about the other aspects in the photo, like the things that make it very Deli's designs, the thing it, things that make it kind of stand out a little bit, like my little chopping board and I put a little sunflower decoration in them. I just kind of forgot about that bit, which was really annoying. But I thought rather than kind of get rid of all that work that I'd already done because I'd spent like a whole day photographing these wash tape and editing them and listing them, my husband suggested, why don't you just take a couple of photos to put at the beginning of the listing and then when you have time, you can retake the other photos or if you're happy with how it looks like that, then you can keep it like that. So that's what we're doing. I'm not stressing about it. As long as like the thumbnail image is something I'm really happy with, then I'm happy in general. Photographing and editing and listing really aren't my favourite parts of running a business. I don't mind it when I'm doing it, but 
they take a lot of time like filtering through the images you've taken and, and stuff like that but I feel like we've come out with some good ones so that's fine I'm now gonna get some stuff done because the launch is in about two and a half days so it's currently the end of Wednesday the launch is at 6 p.m Friday so actually we are into less than two days until the launch now which is kind of crazy when I say that out loud but all of the listings like for the the new products are done um anything else I'm doing now is just a bonus anyway I'm blabbing on I'm gonna get to my list print some of these older stickers onto the newer paper and get them photographed um so that I can update the photos and the listings so yeah I'll chat to you in a bit So I've been cricketing for a while now. I don't think I'm going to get it all done tonight because it's already quite late and I didn't kind of come into the office till later anyway or I didn't pick up the camera till later. But I have just been printing some packaging stickers for the washi cutters and I've also printed some for the new mini memo pads as well. I thought rather than like banners and things it'd be better to pop little stickers on and I didn't realise that the memo pads would come pre-packaged in like cello rather than making banners and things for them i thought we could have little stickers on them like this um so it just says mini memo pad 50 sheets um and delhi's design so really simple but just adds a bit of kind of my branding to the packaging and then also these washi cutter ones because i have some glassine bags on the way um, they're a little bit smaller than this this is a folded down kind of a7 size but it'll be a little bit smaller but they are going to be square um, and I made some like washi cutter stickers to go on the front just again for simple packaging without going too crazy I wasn't really sure how to package the washi cutters this is what they look like the little, little flowers or like scalloped edges kind of style I think this is going to look really cute I just thought I'd test it out make sure it looked it looks good it just makes I don't know it feel a little bit more luxury the packaging so i always like people to have like an experience when they open packages from me and then the same for the uh the moon and the moon the sun and cloud one let me just pop it in let me just check that it's all good to go i'm sure it will be but um best to check i don't really know why i had to check that it looks exactly the same it just feels good to have kind of things done a little bit further on on the last kind of shop update i did i had a little bit of an issue of where i had all these kind of little bits and bobs tasks that weren't done and i had quite a lot to do once orders have been placed like the packaging like putting things together so i'm hoping before friday i can get loads of that stuff done i'm gonna do a little bit more cricketing and then i'll be back with you tomorrow because i need to go and have some dinner and just switch off because it's just exhausting cricketing yeah and i haven't got my soft boxes on hence the weird shadowing lights it always makes me look a little bit crazy with the shadows but um yeah we're making progress but i'll be back with you tomorrow so it's the next day i have done a huge load of stickers the cricket machine finally played ball and it's cut these really nicely so i'm really happy about that but we've now come into a little bit of an issue my printer isn't printing the yellow it's just randomly decided to stop printing the yellow um you can see on here that this bottom bit is meant to have yellow for the test print and it has nothing so that's brilliant i've got up a video on youtube and we're kind of going through it step by step i'm going to be doing cleaning deep cleaning even though i've already done it but i've turned it off turned it back on again and it seems to be doing the cleaning for longer so i'm hoping that sorts it otherwise i think i'm gonna have to do an ink flush which is a little bit frustrating because that will use a fair amount of ink from what it says online but if it means that i can print then it's worth it i'm gonna try not to stress about it too much because i have done all the printing that i wanted to get done it is absolutely boiling again in the uk today i am very warm up here in the office this is probably one of the warmest rooms in the house at this time of year this time of the year so i'm struggling a little bit but 
it feels good to have things done. I've made packaging for my washi cutters. The little bags actually came today, this morning. So they're really cute little glassine bags with a little washi sticker on the front. And then I also put one of the stickers onto the memo pads. So it just looks like this. Really simple, but I think they're super, super cute. So I'm really, really happy with these. And then these are the stickers that we have printed. So first up, we've got Pekka as a star. I decided that this was gonna come to the shop. I literally printed these this morning. So thank goodness. The printer played up after I did this. Um, it played up with some of my logo stickers, but only on like a bottom half, it like randomly stopped. So anyway, we're working that out. We've got the Keep On Shining Pekka sticker, which is really, really cute. I love this one. I know other people love it as well, so I thought it'd be a good one to pop in the shop. We've also got a restock of some stickers. So the Pekka Reading sticker, this was really popular, but it's been upgraded to the vinyl paper. We've got the Good Things Take Time. These have been restocked again on the vinyl paper. We've got the watering can on the vinyl. Rainbow Pekka, so this is the There Is Good In Every Day, You Just Need To Find It. It. Also, I'm really happy to have these ones back. These are the Every Step Is Growth stickers, again, on the vinyl paper. So we've got lots of upgrades there. I just need to kind of photograph them, edit them, and then I think I'm done for the shop update. I mean, I am done right now. Like, if I had something come up right now, I am ready to hit the button tomorrow. I have got to sort an email. Um, speaking of emails, I have a mailing list now. I haven't mentioned that on the studio vlog. I will leave a link to sign up down below. I'll leave a link to sign up to the mailing list. It will take you to a page with my little tulips on it. And if you scroll down, you can sign up. Make sure you check your junk because often these emails can go into your junk. So you need to approve that you want to hear from me. And then also there will be a welcome email with a little cheeky discount code in there. I just thought it would be a good one to mention. I am not gonna bombard you with emails, but if you'd like to hear about little discounts, cause I'm hoping to run a few discounts through the mailing list and just have kind of straight to your inbox updates rather than worrying about social media, not sharing everything with you because we all know how that can be sometimes. You can sign up down below. It would mean a lot if you would like to. And of course you can unsubscribe unsubscribe anytime if you'd like to um so yeah i'm now gonna try and fix this printer and then we're gonna move on to actually putting washi cutters and stickers and things onto the items so that they're all kind of ready to go when they're hopefully ordered um so yeah i'll chat to you in a little while <laughs> Okay, I am quite stressed, I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday was a bit of a write-off after I, I don't even remember what the last thing I shared with you was. I think it was doing like a clean setting on the printer, thinking, yeah, it'll be fine. No, the printer is not working. I have had to take all of my stickers off of my Etsy shop for now. I've just put them into inactive and I'm just feeling really overwhelmed right now. Today is shop update day. Should be something I'm feeling, I mean nerves are good, but I should be excited and instead I am fighting a printer and speaking to Canon services. I have wasted so much ink doing ink flushes because that's what I was told to do and then the person that I spoke to on the phone um, said that I should have only done one and I've done about six I think. And I wasn't going to come on and talk about this, I wasn't going to come on and put a bummer on the vlog, but this is exactly how I'm feeling right now and I always want to keep these vlogs real and share the ups and the downs. A lot of the time, most things are up, there's a little bit of stress in between, but sometimes things really hit a low and that's me right now. I had a bit of a cry yesterday, rightly so really. It's been really hard, but my husband helped me package all of my washi cutters. So these are all ready to go um, in orders that hopefully come through today. They just look really, really cute and I just hit myself in the face. Um, it's, it's good to have those done. I am gonna sit and um, just double check Etsy because I'm going out to see a wonderful friend of mine for an hour or two in a bit. We both need it. So yeah, I just wanna get a few bits done before I head out. I haven't been out in a while, so 
book it should be really nice and I haven't seen this friend for a couple of months so I'm excited about that so I'm just trying to think of things that or like try and remind myself of good things that are happening but I just feel frustrated because I spent all this time making stickers and it was so random how it happened because I literally printed these yellow stickers and I did some packaging stickers because I'd run out of my face to put on orders and halfway through the last sheet it um was all kind of blue and weird looking um so I peeled them off and I just chucked them in the bin and I thought I'll just do a clean setting obviously because I've been using it a bit it's obviously not working it didn't work the yellow didn't print at all um the printer isn't pulling like colors through the tubes um I have like an eco style tank it's a mega tank from Canon um so they use less ink and they pull the ink it's just different to like a cartridge printer I'm sure if you have one you'll you'll know what I mean it was also still very warm today hence my shiny face thankfully managed to get the really important stuff done and thank goodness for my little munbine printer thank you so much if you watched that video by the way i can do labels as well without the stress of using that other one but i'm debating whether i take everything all, well i've taken all my stickers off for now and i just don't know whether to launch the small handful that i have but i have a bit of a fear that if i miscount then i am gonna let people down so I don't know because my stories yesterday went from look at this exciting sticker that's coming tomorrow because people loved this design and I thought it'd be really nice to offer it and then it's like hey this won't be coming so it's just frustrating I know it sounds for those of that maybe don't make stickers themselves maybe it doesn't seem like a big issue but stickers aren't my most popular item but I love making them or I love having them in the shop and people love buying them and now that is gone so anybody that maybe wanted to give that little bit of support um now can't because i can't put the stickers on so i'm gonna have a sit and i'm gonna think about whether i'm gonna put them on or not i have got like so for example i've got i think it's 11 of the stars so i might put on eight so that it covers me if i don't know i'm not happy with a couple of them or if i miscount like i'm not putting exactly the number on there i'm giving myself some leeway i don't know i've i need to write an email as well because i promised people a discount code for the washi tapes um so that's got to go out later today i'm just trying not to get overwhelmed stories like this i'm thinking like why did i even start a business anyway i have a few things i need to do i should probably stop chatting and kind of get on with things so that i'm not stressing as much hopefully the canon person will uh, reply to my email like asap and i just want them to send me a new printer please <laughs> <laughs> or a new print head or something i've got no idea what's wrong with it they don't even know what's wrong with it and it's just frustrating because i've only had it six months but i think it's all under warranty the lady said it should be so i'm just hoping that's the case as well but yeah anyway i'm gonna go and sort some etsy stuff attach some stickers onto memo pads so that they're ready to go so yeah i'll chat to you in a bit i do have a parcel to share with you as well from uh, as a kickstarter from the lovely lauren from pintada designs so I'll share that with you in a bit as well, but, um, yeah. It is now 7 p.m. I have launched everything. I've had a couple of orders, so thank you so much if you've placed an order. I really, really appreciate it. I am so grateful because it just makes up for all the stress that I've been feeling. Um, so if you wanna browse the new goodies, a link as always to my shop will be down below. We've got new washi tape, we've got washi cutters, stickers, not really, very limited. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just so used to saying stickers. Um, but we have mini memo pads and A6 stationery as well. So yeah, thank you so much to Beth and to Ellen for your orders. I will probably get those packed up next week. Hopefully it will cool down a little bit by next week. Um, but before I go, I wanted to share a little Kickstarter parcel with you. This is the Going on a Bear Hunt um, Kickstarter from Pintada Designs. You might have seen that I spoke about Lauren um, a couple of weeks ago now, I think. So I pledged for the Panda Pin. So we got a little kind of thank you for supporting my Kickstarter. And then everybody, because we reached 50 backers, I believe, got this gorgeous postcard, which is says bear with me which i love and it has the outline of each um design it's just so pretty i'm definitely gonna pop that up onto the wall and then whatever pin you ordered or whether you ordered all the pins you got stickers to match as well so this is the sticker i got because it matches the pin which i'll show you in just a second this is the little panda pin with sparkly feet i don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up sparkly little feet as well which is so cute and then this is what i pledged for this is the panda pin which is stunning it's such a lovely size it's so shiny look at that i think it's silver yes it's silver metal i think all the pins have like a different metal which is a really lovely touch i love this so so much thank you for running a lovely kickstarter lauren i'm so glad i could be part of it um so that's my happy mail from lauren and yeah that's me really hope you've enjoyed watching i that's a lovely sound <laughs> let me just see what that is oh thank you hannah thank you so so much that is such a lovely order. We've got both washi cutters, two washi tapes, a daffodil pecker notepad, and a mini memo pad. So thank you so much. That that really means a lot. Thank you. That was a good way to end the vlog. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I wish you the loveliest day, and I will speak to you next week. Bye.